Okay. What is up, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Step out of camera. Um, so there's gonna be some big changes. Coming up on the channel. Um, number one is I might push. So I don't know if this is a good idea, but I might push this trailer back another. Oh. There's my tape measure. Good. I might push this trailer back another foot and a half. Hook it up. Put the landing gear up. Push it back another foot. Um, so then I don't have to, because, you know, I'm, I'm still going to get the north winds. But where I am now in the driveway, where I am now in the driveway, um, like, last winter, I had my water until, like, freaking Thanksgiving. Gone. Um, so, I think what, I think that's what's going to happen. Another thing I might do is... I might... Might sell this trailer in freaking like seven years, eight years. We'll see. I might sell it. We'll see. Why would I want to sell it to get something a little bit newer? So this is an 06. I'd probably go get like a 2009, 2010. Uh, and why would I want to sell it? So I could go get a 2012 Keystone Passport for twelve for twelve thousand bucks. I can go get a so I, I I could go get a 2008 travel trailer an 08 travel trailer Salem Edge travel trailer for nine grand for that's an 08. I could go get a let's see here. 2009 Trailblazer for 11 grand. Basically, two years newer than this travel trailer. I could get. I thought about. I, this is not something that I'm. I'm not. Um. I'm not going to take lightly. I'm probably going to go ahead and do it. Um, because this thing, this thing's been a great trailer. I haven't towed with it that much, but it's been a really good, solid trailer. And I just need something that I don't, that, that my pipes won't freeze in. Because right now, Every winter I'm having to I'm having to wrap my pipes up or I'm having to like enclose my trailer and spend a whole bunch of money and stuff. So like I could get a grand design 2018. So it says so this it says the trailer is extremely clean, never been smoked in, always washed every after every use. New tire, new mattress that has never been slept on, will sleep six. Hitch for bike rack, two volt, uh, two six volt batter batteries. Solar ready with 
inverter, AC, dual control, controller, control refrigerator, gas, gas, or, or electric. That's what this is. Uh, dishwasher, dish welling, uh, included custom cabinet work. Okay, yada, yada, yada. Uh, that you will never see in this model. Still has one year left of warranty. It'll be over by then. Uh, so the unloaded vehicle weight rating is 5,000, is 5,725. So I'm only a thousand, and this is a, this is like a 30 foot track, uh, 30 foot, this is like a, 30 foot travel trailer and it's only a thousand pounds heavier than my trailer, which is cool. Uh, fresh water, 52 gallons. So a 52 gallon fresh water tank would be nice to have. This is only, this thing's only got a 20 gallon fresh water tank. Uh, 70, 76 gallon, so 71 gallon gray water tank. This has got a 20 gallon gray water tank, 40 gallon black water tank. This thing's got a 30 gallon black water tank. So it's something to think about. And that's only freaking 25,000. Here's another one. An 18 clipper says, so there's an 18 clipper. It comes out slide, bedroom. It's got a small bunk area. What's the 2018? Here's the 2014 for 18,500. You know, the more and more and more I'm scrolling through on Craigslist right now, the more and more and more I kind of want to do it. I mean, I could get a used camper. Used. Upgrade. A complete freaking upgrade. To what I'm used to. For freaking, I mean, like here's, I mean, I mean, like here's one uh, down in freaking Salem, Oregon, a 2017. Down in Salem, Oregon, what's the GV? What's the dry weight? Okay, eight thousand pounds. That's a little heavier. I want to go. So, the max dry I would want to, the max dry weight I'd want to stay at is like, and I wouldn't be, I wouldn't mind, I would not mind going down to Portland, 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 Oregon area. I would not mind going down to Portland, Oregon area to find a travel trailer. That's super close by. So like 2011, 2013 for 13 grand for 11 grand. Uh, let's see here. 26 foot. 2019 for 16,000. 2019 Kodiak Ultralight by Dutchman model. Slip 7, absolutely mint condition, hardly ever used. Appliances are still brand new. Front walk, bedroom, plus rear double bunks. Roof, air conditioning, of course, we're going to have it. Uh, absolutely 
absolutely no damage, like new bumper pull, uh, bumper to bumper, super, super clean inside and outside, out, out, outdoor fridge and stove powered awning. For a twenty for a twenty nineteen at sixteen thousand, if I replaced if I replaced the cap, which is right there on that thing, if I replaced that, if I replaced that and fixed a couple other small things like the heater in here this winter, and sold that thing not next year and sold this thing not next year but the year after, for a twenty nineteen, I mean. Bumper pull. Bumper pull. For a 2019 bumper pull. You you can't get any more. You can't get better than that. For a 2019 bumper pull. For a 2020 bumper pull. Small fridge, good size bedroom, good size bathroom. It says for, so for another small bumper. So for a, I mean, I can get I could get into a freaking bumper pull down there for dirt, dirt cheap, dirt cheap, dude. Uh, dirt cheap. Uh, I mean, I can get. I mean, to upgrade. Into something a little bit nicer that I don't have to worry about things happening. Like I don't have to worry about my pipes freezing, or I don't have to worry about stuff like that. Would be freaking amazing. I mean, check this out. That that's nice. That is super nice. That's super nice. I mean, that's a 2021 for, frankly. I mean, fifth wheel. Okay, I don't want a fifth wheel. 06, I don't want that. I want newer than 2006. Is what I'm getting at. I want newer than 06. If I can get something newer than 06, I'll be happy. Bumper pull. See here, if I can find something. So, like for an example, let's see if I can find it. For an for an example, check this thing out. Where it see it right here. Check this beast out. This thing is nice. This thing is a nice travel trailer. Let's see if I get this thing to focus here. That's this thing is a nice travel trailer. That's a nice that's a nice travel trailer for twenty eight thousand five hundred bucks. It's thirty. It's it's. Let's see here. They say it's a thirty one foot. It's not a thirty one foot. I can tell. That's a 34-foot travel trailer for fucking 28500 bucks. But, at the same time, I am keeping my, tra I am keeping this thing forever. This trailer I am keeping forever because it's got the generator already on board. It's got the domatic fridge already on board. It's got the garage, which I'm sitting inside, it's got tinted. It's got tinted windows. It's got a convectional oven.
Um, it's got an outside shower, so I am keeping this trailer forever. Now, on the other hand, would I keep my 2011 F-150 forever? Um, there's no, there's no, um, yeah, I'm going to keep that thing forever. My plan with that truck is, hear me out because I have family that watches my channel. My plan with that truck is, get that truck up to, because I know in the way that the market's going, Right now, it's going forward. I know we're going to fall off a cliff with car sales, really. And when I say fall off a cliff with car sales, I mean like this. And it just jumps off the cliff. And, that, and, that, and, and that's going to happen. And that's starting to happen. It's starting to happen, but it's not really happening. Um, that's going to happen, like, really soon. I can tell. Um, like, within the next two, within the next three and a half years. Um, my plan is, if within the next three and a half, four years, if I can get that truck, I'm going to keep that truck, if I can get that truck to, a hundred and twenty thousand miles in three years, sell that truck, and at that time, when I sell that truck, I'll be able to get into a 2018 F-250, so 18, 19, 21, 2, 2020. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 21, 26. So that's nine years. That's that's nine years old. That's a nine year old. So nine. So that's an eighteen. So if I get into a so, let's take it twenty fifteen truck. So twenty fifteen Lariat F F two fifty. So. That's a that's a so that's a thirteen year old that's a thirteen year old truck. That's a thirteen year old F two fifty. So that's a twelve year old. So twelve years old would be twenty sixteen. At that time, I'll be able to get into a twenty sixteen or a seventeen or even an eighteen F two fifty Lariat for twenty two twenty three thousand. 24,000, so I'll, pro, I'll be able to get into it for that less, for that much. Sell that, sell that, or sell that, or sell that thing, and then get into, and then get into a power stroke. Maybe, maybe. We'll see what the market's doing in four, four, three and a half, four years. Um, when I say maybe, there's like a Two percent chance I'm gonna sell that truck, which is nothing. I love that truck. That's my dream truck, as you guys know. But we'll see. Um, we'll see. I might. We'll see. I'm. I really might sell it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. If I do move back to Wisconsin, which. Will happen. That truck out in Wisconsin is worth like that truck. <sighs> if I sold that truck right now out here, that 2011, I'd probably get about 19 grand for it right now. So I'm not doing that. But when I move back to Wisconsin, what I'm thinking about doing, and I'll talk about that in the video here soon. 
is what I'm thinking about doing when I move back there, maybe in like five years or not even five, like five years. What I'm thinking about doing is because I could get into a really nice truck. I could get into a really nice truck out there. And what I could do is I could, so my cousin, my cousin Emmy is graduating college and so four-year college. So, so 22, so 23 to four is her second year. 24 to five is her four, third year. 25 to 6 is her, so 2026 is her fourth year. So 26, so 26, 25, 24, 25. That truck's, my truck's going to be 16 years old. So what I could do, I'm thinking, I, 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 I started thinking about this. What I'm thinking about doing is offering her a really good deal on my truck. A really good deal on my truck. Offering offering her a really good deal on my truck. Her mom her mom would pay for it, but she she would get a really good deal on my truck and then I'd go buy like a twenty eighteen or a twenty nineteen F two or F three fifty pickup. Or There's another option, that Passat. That Passat will last forever. Um, but I don't know yet. There, and that, and that, and that second option. There's like a one percent chance of that too. Um, I don't. I just, you know. That's like my dream truck and. You know, that's hard. That's hard to get rid of. Um, on the other hand, my buddy's like, "Oh yeah, tune the truck, tune that, tune that thing. We can, we can put that thing in sport mode and whatever." Here's the thing: a Raptor engine is hard to tune. Period, and that's what that is. Stick in the sport mode. If it was a Lariat, yeah, it's already got it's already got normal sport and performance. Same thing with the King Ranches and Platinums and Limiteds. Okay. If it if I so if I bought. A 2000 and seven years newer than that truck. Oh, yeah. Well, there's we could we could we could do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, My goal with that truck is my personal truck is if I can get that thing up to a, if I can get that thing up to two hundred and eight thousand that truck will last a half a million miles. Um and the plan what I'm thinking about thinking is keep that I'm gonna of course I'm gonna keep my, my uh my dream truck, but what I'm thinking about doing is if my cousin, if my cousin, I'm gonna go out there next year, and I'm gonna say, hey, I mean, hey, I want to talk about this to my aunt, and I'm gonna say, hey, I, re- I have a really nice freaking truck. Emmy could, I could sell my truck to Emmy for super freaking cheap. Like I would do it for below value. I'd sell it to her for cheap. 
I would sell it to her for cheap. Like, as her gra- as her graduation gift from from college. Then what I do is what I do is I'd probably go and pay. I'd probably with the money I that I have. I'd probably go out and get a two thousand and sixteen to twenty seventeen F one fifty. Twenty sixteen to twenty seventeen F one fifty. King Ranch Lariat. But that's that's probably not gonna happen. Um uh, because the, I hate the I hate the new technology. Um I really hate the new technology. In terms of trucks and stuff, I bought that thing for a reason. I hate the newer, I hate the 15, I hate the, I hate the 12 and, I hate the, I hate the 12 and, the 12 and up. Oh, you need a backup camera. You don't need a backup camera to back up a vehicle. It's like, I mean, I hate the, tw- I mean, when I say I hate the 12s and 13, the twelves and up. I mean, I hate them. The newer ones, twelves, the so like basically thirteen and up. They're junk. They are junk. I hate them. That's why I didn't buy a twenty fourteen F one fifty. I didn't buy a twenty sixteen F one fifty. I didn't buy a 2011 or 2011 F250. I hate them. Even so, for F150s, I hate 2013 and up. Because that's when they started going to backup cameras. They started doing blind spot monitoring. They started doing, um, they started putting. They started putting um, remote starts in trucks. They started putting just a whole bunch of stuff in them. For, for the for the F two fifties, I hate the years I would buy for an F two fifty if I got rid of that truck. My twenty eleven would be an oh eight through two thousand and ten. I hate the I hate the 2011s. I hate them. I really do. So the good years of of an F250 I would buy would be 06 would be would be two would be 08 through 2010. If I were to sell my truck and go get a Duramax diesel engine, a pickup it would probably be it would probably be from 2000 and from from 2002 to 2006 what and you're probably asking why wouldn't I go and get an LML? My buddy, my buddy's buddy, my buddy's uh, boss has got one. And he's pulling a 12,000 pound boat out of the water. That truck barely wants to, that truck barely, when I say barely wants to pull the boat out of the water, I mean, it barely does it. So you take a you take that boat, which is it's a thirty five foot boat, thirty four foot boat, maybe if that if that it, you know that truck is not set up for, to pull that boat out of the water. It hesitates to pull the boat out of the water. 
he'll he'll get up to the top where the asphalt is and he'll start making his turn and the truck just the truck just does nothing. It does nothing. It sits there. It sits there. And it does and it just turns like this. So here's his truck. It turns like this. It's shaking, it's shaking, 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 turning, 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 turning. And then once they're turned, that truck is like normal again. So if I were to buy a Cummins diesel pickup truck, if I sold my 2011 for a diesel pickup truck ever, I would probably go out and buy. A two thousand from from two thousand to two thousand and from two thousand from two thousand to two thousand and one Cummins pickup truck Cummins because you don't have the electronic shit you don't have the electronics in there you don't have the electronic you don't have the computers and the engines after two thousand and two. They start putting sunroofs in trucks, in those trucks, sunroofs, backup cameras, electronic gauges. Nope. I mean, everybody harps on the six. I mean, everybody harps one. Everybody harps on the six fours, saying, "Oh, they're junk trucks. They're not. They're not the reliable trucks out there." I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, you take a 6 4 to, a, to an LML Duramax diesel in a tug of war, you'll freaking burn up the Duramax engine in probably two and a half minutes. Those, those 6 4s can tow about 40,000 pounds close to it. I know a buddy of mine in Utah, Repo Nut. I'll put his channel down below. Oh, and I'll put the video down below. And there's this there's this excursion on a six inch lift tires. This thing weighs. So the FI fifty weighs, keep in mind, the FI fifty weighs eight thousand pounds, right? That excursion weighed Close to 12,000 or close to 13,000 pounds. And that F550 with the 6.4 Power Stroke diesel picked that, tr picked that truck up. No problems at all. An LML Duramax wouldn't even be able to do that. Tune. Um... <clears throat> And I know he, my, I know my buddies, I know my buddies, saying, "Oh, I, I want to go find an, I want to go find a, uh, I want to go find a twelve valve." Guess what? The twelve valves, they're not, they're, they're terrible engines. They're worse than a six O. The twelve valves are worse than the six O's and the six fours and six sevens, and the five nines. The newer five nines and the newer six seven Cummins and the newer luxury car motors out there. The, the 12 valve is the worst thing you can buy. So I looked at a 12 valve. What was it? Before I came out here, I looked at a 12 valve in 2021. Spring of 2020 or summer of 2021. I came out in August. I looked at that thing on the internet in Florida. In Florida. In Florida. With 160,000 miles on it for 5,400 bucks. They're not worth anything. You get a 12 valve. They're not worth it. They're not worth the money. You lose a lot of money. 
Um, if I, I mean, honestly, when when that motor blows up in that truck or or that truck start starts having issues, or if that truck, or or if I end up do deciding to give that truck away to my cousin Emmy, you know, for her graduation, not no, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, but if if I ever did sell that truck, my next truck would be a six four power stroke diesel. And after that truck, it'd be I wouldn't have anything else. So really, you've got the good Ford trucks. You've got the so. That's a six two. That's more real. So what's so? Let's break it down. What's more reliable? A twenty eleven six two or a two thousand eight through two thousand ten six four power stroke diesel? So the six four is more reliable, believe it or not, than than the six two. And there are mechanic my my I'm friends with one. He knows what he's talking about, but. I think it gets carried away when he says, oh, yeah, those six fours are not reliable and yada, yada, yada. I know he's probably worked on a couple of them, but he says uh, he says a lot that he doesn't mean. So, or he says a lot. I can tell he says a lot that he's not kind of serious about. Six. I was looking for a six four power stroke diesel. Um, before I kind of actually found my dream truck, I was looking that was so a six four power stroke. Why is a six four more reliable than any other truck out there on the market? Well, one, when you stomp on the gas, when you stomp on the throttle with the 6.4, it will not blow black smoke out the truck. It won't do it. Number two. Yeah, sure, your, sure, your injectors are going to have issues and stuff, but it's not like the newer LMLs where you put a chip in it and it sounds awful. You gotta wait for the glow plugs. You gotta wait for all this stuff. No. Number three. Easy to maintain. Um, that's a big part. But anyways, so that is the what ifs. Which aren't gonna happen because I I would never sell that I I would never sell my dream truck which I did buy my 2011 F150 I would never sell it but that is if those are the trucks if I were to sell it I would go out and buy the six one last thing before we move on to another update the six fours. They, they'll shred an LML pieces in a tug of war. Um, and so we're going to keep on the truck topic for a little bit. I went recently, I went to go get an oil change and, and I got quoted 
for a 2006 or 2011. I got quoted for a 20, so I got quoted, and it and the quote said 3.7 liter V8. I have a 6.2, so so 2011. I want to see the motors are. Okay, so here we go. There are now four different engines offered on the F-150, a 302 horsepower V6 liter, so 37 V6. 37 V6. I don't have that. A 360 horsepower uh, a 3... A 360 horsepower 5.0. A 411 horsepower 6.2 V 6.2 V8 engine. That's what I have. That 6.2 and that 411 horsepower. So I have the I have the six two engine. I have the six two engine. Um, and I'm not going to go into all the stuff that will destroy that truck, but putting a coarse leg exhaust on that truck, now, now, now you're talking about oil changes that are going to be a hundred bucks. Now you're talking about doing more damage to the truck than you ever should do. Okay, so I thought about what I'm going to do to that truck, and what I'm going to do to that truck is I'm going to run in town, I'm going to get an estimate at Frontier Ford, and I'm going to have the Ford, I'm going to have the tow mirrors, the factory tow mirrors for that truck, put on that truck for next, for, for next year. It's going to be the money, but I don't care. I don't care. So that's number one. Number two, key fobs. I want to get the key fobs work. I want to get a key fob, and I want to. I want to have two more key fobs made for. I want to have two key fobs made for that truck. Three. I'm going to talk to Ford about taking that hitch receiver off and putting the factory hitch receiver on. See how much that would cost. Four tinted windows. Five. Five is a remote start. And why am I going to have the factory? Why why do I want the factory hitch receiver on that truck? That truck is rated for 7,000 pounds, and I've got a hitch on it for 6,000. I mean, freaking legitimately, if I put that hitch on for 7,000, the original hitch on that truck, hitch receiver on that truck, that's rated for 7,000 pounds. I would feel that in the tow mirrors, in the factory tow mirrors for that truck, I would feel so much more comfortable towing a trailer. I already do, but I'd, it's, just that, it's just that icing on the cake. 
next year I'm gonna have my buddy install a remote start system on my truck. But then I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna even have him do it because then because then we gotta go get the keys, we gotta wire them, and I don't know if he remembers how to do it. So I'm gonna go to Florida, I'm gonna have a lot of this stuff just taken care of. I don't care what I don't. I, I, it's, it's coming down to the point where I don't care what it's going to cost. I just want it done. And I'm sick of, I'm sick of walking out in my truck in a cold, cold winter and fucking unlocking my doors and doing that stuff. I'm just, I'm just sick of it. I just want the truck. Boom, boom, boom start it. Unlock the truck. Get in it. Put the key in. Turn it. Put drive and go. Um. So I'm I'm gonna see what that cost. If all that is gonna cost under right now, I, there's a door lock issue where right now there's a small door lock issue where you put it in, nothing turns. So I'm gonna see what that is. If I can get the keys programmed, the re the remote fobs programmed, the fobs programmed, the fobs, the remote start for that truck, put that in there, put that in there. No, if I can, if I can get the fobs and the tow mirrors. For under for under eight, for under six hundred bucks, I'm doing it. Um, and then what's also going to happen is I'm going to take this thing, Camping World, probably next year or probably next or not next year. Yeah, next year. And have them service it. And that's going to be an expensive bill. That's going to be at least another. 18, 1900 bucks. So we're looking at, so let's do math here. So, So let's say five hundred bucks. So five hundred all together for getting a new key fob and programming it. So five hundred bucks. So we're looking at a thousand bucks plus So we're talking another 770, so 670 plus tinted windows is going to cost me another 300 plus. Plus to get the factory hitch receiver on.
So we're talking another 600. So that's 2,570 bucks going into this project. Plus, then we've got the trailer. So the trailer to get that, so to get the trailer maintenance is going to cost. Ooh, that's going to be an expensive one. We're talking another probably 20, 20, 2200 plus new tires. We're talking another four or another 500 plus. We're talking. So we're talking 2700 bucks. So let's add up 2570 plus 2700. 2700 plus 2570. That's five thousand two hundred dollars. That's five thousand. Let's say five thousand two hundred eighty bucks, roughly. That's a lot of money, and I hate to say it, but. Um, I'm on the I'm, I'm the last one I'm the last one on the family on the family list to get taken care of so if I tell my aunt hey I need money to take care of my trailer and my truck I won't get it um, I won't get that money so I'm the last one on the list to like when I said the last one. I'm the last one on the freaking list to get taken care of. I'm the ninth hundred. I'm like the, the I'm like the twenty eight hundred person on the list, which is the last one on the list to get taken care of. So I don't. Know, I gotta figure. I gotta figure something out. Because that would be nice. That would be nice. Uh, let's see what else I'm going to do. Let's see. 